In this lesson, we're going to talk about internal compression fittings. It's a pretty new type of fitting that's been developed in the past couple of years, and it's become one of my favorite new types of fittings. This right here is a 90-degree elbow. This is particular one was manufactured by Sharkbite. This is a CTS, a copper tubing sized fitting, and they come in both CTS and IPS sizes. Generally, the ones that you're going to find for copper tubing size are made out of brass and they're a little more durable. And the ones that are made for PVC, the IPS size, are generally only made for PVC and the fixtures themselves are made out of plastic. So they're not quite as durable as these heavy ones are. So let's take a look here at a, a copper piece here. We're going to do this and first let's discuss what's going on inside of here. Down in the middle you see a little white insert and that's going to go inside of the pipe and help stabilize this because what we're wanting is the interior pressure pushing out on the pipe and pushing against an o-ring that is inside of here. There's an o-ring that seals up the connection and there are small stainless steel little flanges down in there that grip the edge of the pipe to hold this in place and keep it from sliding back off. So let's just take a look here and you'll always want to just make sure that you get that little white piece centered up inside your pipe and then kind of twist a little bit as you push and you can feel it seat into the nest. These are removable and what you have here is just a little horseshoe style thing and what you're going to want to do is slide this down the pipe and it pushes on this little beige little ring right here and that's what releases those stainless steel little flanges that lock the pipe in here. So all you really have to do is push up against the fitting and it slides off. The only problem with taking these things on and off is every time you do, it leaves a little bit of the grease on the fitting that is supposed to be on the O-ring. So if you take one off more than once, I would suggest you go back in with just a little touch of grease if you have some, just to make sure that those O-rings will slide down the pipe and seat up properly. One of the things that you have to watch out for this, no matter what type of fitting or what pipe you're using, is the smoothness of the exterior surface. Because you have an O-ring that's touching this here, if you have any scars, any gashes, scratches, burrs <clears throat> that may interfere with that, then you're going to want to either trim down to another piece of pipe or smooth that down or whatever the case may be. But if it's not completely smooth, you're not going to get a good seal on that. So let's talk about the other type that we have for PVC fittings. And there are several different kinds here. Um, I think at this point there's about four different manufacturers that are making these and they call them push to fit. Um, internal compression is really a more technical term for them, but usually there's called a push to fit fitting or, or push on fitting. And all of them are basically the same except one kind here by Lasco has two O-rings in it and most of the rest of them only have one. Um, the Lasco kind aren't removable, so once you put it on, it's permanent. You can't get it back off, but the other kinds are. Um, this one here is a PVC lock by Hydro Rain, and this is a three-quarter inch, and they're identifiable by the blue ring on the inside, but these are removable. Basically, once you put it on, all right, You've got a, a little piece here that has a very thin sheet of metal that you just fit around the pipe. And what it does is it slides up and goes between, oh, here we go, the pipe and that external flanges there, those flanges on the inside of the fitting. This goes between them and allows it to release. So the takeaway from that is that there's going to be some price differences. Let's say in particular this, um, piece of 90 degree here for copper. If you bought a 90 degree copper elbow and soldered it on, that 90 degree elbow of the other kind, just a regular copper kind, would probably be about 80 or 90 cents. I think this is an $8 piece. So there's some price differences, but the time it takes to just push this on versus getting the copper kit out, firing up the torch, cleaning it, flux, solder, the whole nine yards, this makes it a very economical 
option for an irrigation technician who probably doesn't have the time to fool with all of that and probably only sees copper a few times a year. Now, the jury's still out, at least in my mind, as to whether or not you would assemble an entire system with these kind of push-to-fit connections, but that depends on your business model. If you're installing them, you would have to calculate out the time that a person would take to fit together a joint using glue and primer versus one of these push-to-fit. And these come in a couple of different price ranges, so make that determination for yourself. But for me, I'm going to start using these a whole lot more in my business. I probably won't assemble a system with them, but for repairs and the majority of the things that I do, I think these fittings work just fine.